right, so you can see the ignition switch here is broken. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to fix it. Uh, maybe your key broke off. Uh, maybe this doesn't work. So here's a new one and I'm just going to replace it. This is a common part. A lot of these generators, they've got to come by different names, different uh, brands, but pretty much use the same uh, key switch. So this is how you solve it. Now this happens to be a size 8. And this unhooks like that, just support it. And then you'll see this plastic thing. You just got to depress it. One, two, three. And you open it and you can see there's the, uh, there's a little plug. Now, if you're lucky, yours will also just come with a little plug like this. So it's plug and play. If you have a look at the color coding, you'll see that it's not a match. Because if you look like that, uh, also doesn't fit as you can see while they look the same they are not the same you see there's like an extra uh, lip here coming up uh, while this one is flat this one's got a space over there so uh, and also if you look at the colors it's almost like it's wired backwards if you look at that the white and black is on that side white and black so before I just uh, swap it, I'm just going to check the pinouts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the key in, turn it, and make sure that the pinouts are correct. Right, so I'm just going to test it. Now you put the key in, that would be in the off position. You turn it once, that would be on, but not start. And then when you start it, that's kind of initiating the starter motor. So what happens is, I'm trying to match just to make sure that uh, the company who sold this to me, basically they've just swapped the pins. But I just want to confirm that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my multimeter and measure the continuity. So let's check. According to me, the black white stripe white should be the starter. And there you can see how it was wired. Um, so it was black, white and white. So I'm going to put it to here, black, white and white. And when I turn this, the meter should sound. Yes. See, there we go. Okay, so I can already tell that that one is just uh, on the wrong side. And then in the middle, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the adapters. Because as you can see, mine uh, works with this one. So even though the starter comes with its own plug it is incorrect as i said for the reason i've already described so i'm going to now remove this what you do is you've just got to press down that like almost that little leaf spring there just depress it and the pin will come out there you go you see it's gone inside there and i'll do that again there all right you can see so i just got to do that six times so i'm going to go two to two so it is white there and it's a good idea just to push this a bit out and it goes in one way if you look closely you can see there's a space for where that flange comes out right so that's in But in your case, you might not need to do that. You might find that yours is a ready-made uh, with the correct pinouts. Okay, now it can be plugged in here. You can see there the black, white, white. Goes black, white, white. And then there's the green, black, green, black. See? Green, black, green, black. And then blue, blue. But this one is green, white, but goes to orange in, in my particular generator. Anyway, so now what you need to do is you just need to... Remove the key, take out this uh, little nut here, and just put that through like that. Now, now what you'll notice is there's a little groove there, and that groove aligns, if you look here, with this lip over here, so that it stops it when you are turning the key, it stops it from moving inside. 
So you've got to just align that. You can see it kind of slots in and it can't move. There it is. Right, so now I can just put the little rubber washer on there, plastic washer, and then the nut. See now that holds it in place. Off, on, start. See the ignition switch is not moving. The key is moving, but the actual fitting stays still because it's seated on that little gap there. All right now it's just time to close up. All right, you'll see clips at the back, which you line up. There's one there, one there, and one at the back. Clips at the front. I just have to put the wires inside there. Right now, you just hang it back like that, and you refasten the screws. And you can just tighten this with a pair of pliers just to make it a bit extra tight. There you go. Not too tight. It will just break off. It's not very strong. These things. Oh, there's your key switch. So if you want to start the generator, I just need to bring my battery to start it up. Okay, so I'm going to start the generator now. Uh, mine, I just start with a, a separate battery. I've actually got a battery that's mounted into a wall. But just for the video, I'm going to start it here with this battery over here. Alright, so there's the key switch on position. Don't forget about the open the petrol and the choke. 